Hey guys, this is Mikro here. I figured I'd make a video about how to kind of get around the queue times, if you will, or kind of mediate it, because this is seemingly a pretty big problem within the Duo community, and there's a little trick that I've been using to make this a lot less painful for me, and I figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, so New World has really large queues depending on your server. Valhalla is still sitting at like usually a 1 to 3k queue depending on what time of the day you're getting in. I know in South America those queues are like 4 to 5k right now so they can have a whole new server and it still be full. I know Nissan EU is that way as well. Uh, but all of these problems basically stem from you need to uh, sit down, be at your computer ready to play the game. You have to hit Q and then you have to wait like 2-3 hours and you can actually play the game. So you can't really control at what point you could start playing New World. And there's a little tool I've been using to kind of help mit mit or mitigate that, if you will. Uh, so the thing I've been using is called Steam Link. This is made by a Valve. It's been around for a bit. And what it basically lets you do is it lets you remote into your computer, kind of take over your computer remotely, and from there you can play games. I've been using this in the past to uh, play like card games like the Bazaar and stream them from my PC to like my phone or... Uh, an old iPad I have, and from there I can like play them before I go to bed or something like that. So it's something a little bit more casual. Uh, but this is pretty useful during the queue times because you can just you can be wherever you want to be. Like today I was like watching football and I got on the uh, New World effectively and started seeing if I can get into the queue. And like after I get through the queue, I'll probably start st stream. But uh, like this is just something I've been using to kind of mitigate this problem. So I figured I'd, I'd show what this looks like. So I'm opening up Steam Link on my phone right now, and I'm going to take over my computer, and you should see my computer do something a little funny in a second. So it says streaming, remote play. Uh, I log in, and then I'm controlling my computer now. So from here, it's like uh, I can uh, switch between different modes on my phone. There's like a cursor mode, which is what I prefer to use. There's one for a controller, which I, don't, I didn't even know you could plug in controller into your phone, but apparently that's a thing now. Um, so uh, you can basically from here, you just you see select your server, select your character. Uh, like if I hit cancel here, I'd select this character, I'd hit Q, and then you could just wait. Once you're into the game, uh, there's buttons you could hit, and like one of the buttons is for doing attacks, so I like to use that to give a little movement of my melee weapons, and then I know I won't get kicked out if I'm not in front of my computer at that exact time, so... Uh, that's what I've been using. Uh, just a, a little tip there. I could show you guys how to set it up now. It's not super difficult, but I can't show everything because that would be basically doxing myself. I could show you guys a little bit. Uh, so if I close out of the view, yeah, so I logged out of my phone. So now I actually have control of my cursor. You can see how it just changed. Uh, if you go to Steam, and then you go to settings, there's a setting for remote play, and this is where you set it up. You just hit pair Steam Link here. Uh, if you have your phone, and your phone will have a code that's displayed, and you just enter that code in this pair Steam Link spot, and then that will just literally just pair your phone to your computer, and then you can remote in anytime you want. So that, that's just it. Uh, it's, it's a small thing, but it's a big quality of life improvement. Uh, it's definitely been nice for me, but again, I wouldn't recommend it if you're on like a public network, like if you're a student at a dorm or something like that like it's uh, i think it's a little bit of a security risk at that point because you're basically just like opening yourself up to uh people like logging into your computer but if you're on a secure network like that's totally like sure it should generally be fine like i'm not a security expert but i figure it's generally fine and it's been around for a while so uh that's just a little tip hope you guys enjoyed that and uh good luck with your cues because they are long uh but i'll see y'all later